What's up guys? Taking a little break from the RC action to post a little update on the 3D printed mask that I've been working on for the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, the original design that I posted on Facebook earlier was from a doctor, Chris Wiles. Um, his design had six different size masks um, and works really great. Uses a MERV 13 filter you can get from Home Depot. Um, he uses some surgical band to go around the head to hold to your face and um, yeah it works pretty good I uh, started printing and I got to maybe about 15 masks and I decided to make a couple changes in FreeCAD so uh, a couple changes that I made here so instead of six sizes we have three sizes we have a large uh, medium and small um, same filter material MERV 13 but uh, for the filter instead of um, you know hot gluing it in what we have here is a uh, a rim bead flange design so there's a little um, bead on the cover uh, that goes all the way around so your filter material will lay in the cover and then you'll press it right onto that flange so that bead will clamp that filter on this flange to provide an airtight seal and then there's little nubs on the corners of the, of the mask on four corners so you could take a rubber band and uh, clamp the uh, cover on and you can do it both ways if you want so that provides a little bit extra security um, for any healthcare workers if it does ever get to that point where healthcare workers start using these um, mainly you know trying to get these out to police departments uh you know possibly people working in grocery stores we'll see what what comes uh, we did get some good news that the shortage is coming to an end but still wanted to post this update regardless um another thing i changed was there's four attachment points now instead of two um, and the method of attachment to your face instead of using surgical band which i did not get um, you can use these small rubber bands. Um, I'll post a link for those and they'll just go around your ears. And I just wore the top two. Um, I didn't touch the bottom guys here. So put these around my ears and it was fine. Um, I also have, I also got large, larger rubber bands and you can stretch these pretty far around your head and then take you know something that's there's a couple 3d printed designs online where it'll, it's like a head behind your head strap each rubber band will hook to it that'll secure it to your head as well um, the reason for the rubber bands is there's no there's no more elastic material uh, there's a shortage of that online uh, that's the ideal solution for this i do have an order from walmart but it just hasn't come in yet it's it's now a couple days late i was going to wait to post a video until all that came in but i said the heck with it i'm going forward the way it is so and one of the biggest things and biggest reasons why i decided to redesign this was the the wall thickness um, and the print time you get from a thicker wall thickness so i decided to reduce the thickness in half i reduced the print time for one of these things by 40 percent and uh, even while doing that i still increased the size of the mask about a half inch because on uh, the other models my nose was hitting the edge of the the mask and a couple other people that tried it also had the same problem so i just increased the the height if you will of the mask and i even with doing that i still decreased the print time by 40 percent um, once these things come off the printer um, if you have an, a good print one thing i do recommend is taking a um, like a dremel tool with a sander on the end and just going around the edge of the mask and uh, giving it a nice chamfer bevel out so that when it goes on your face you have a, a nice f comfortable fit uh, so it doesn't dig into your skin over hours and hours of use i wore this right off the printer in a in a uh, you know grocery shopping um, trip and i was i had it for like i had it on for like an hour and a half and it started to dig in my face so and after i did the uh, sanded of the edges it was comfortable I was able to wear it for hours without a problem um, as long as the tension was set right all right so 
I'll jump off here. Just wanted to make a quick update. Links to the, the models on Thingiverse, both uh, Dr. Chris Wiles and then this one are down below. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.